a suit that realistically protects against impact, falling, being thrown around. We all know a lot of the soft sci-fi, science fantasy, mecha genre applies heavy doses of handwavium to sudden deceleration and impact injuries. Iron Man would realistically be liquefied in his suit should he actually crash land to a dead stop after flying at Mach 1. Exoskeletons in much of military sci-fi allow people to go hurtling through the air, be thrown through walls, fall off buildings, be punched by superhumans, monsters, robots, whatever large enemy. Realistically, rigid plate armor doesn't really protect one from falling, sudden deceleration, bomb blasts, or other impacts. How would we design a suit for military sci-fi that includes a strength-enhancing exoskeleton as well as a way to protect the wearer from some halfway decent impacts, like falling 15 to 20 feet, being thrown 20 feet through the air, maybe being hit by a car at whatever speed is somewhat commensurate with those forces? Think light, medium protection, i.e. nothing on the level of Iron Man or other genres. Falling off a skyscraper still kills you, but the giant from Game of Thrones might need to hit you a few times before you stop breathing. Have fun with this, I think there is not as much as one would expect to find on the net regarding the specifics of making this work. There's two issues here. One is to protect your body from being physically squished by the impact of a giant taking a beating on your unfortunate soul. For that, you need armor, and it's not going to be light. A solid, incompressible exoskeleton would prevent the wearer from being compressed. It would look like a harness, though if you don't care about stab or bullet wounds a cage would function as well. The other issue is sudden acceleration when the kick propels you, or deceleration which is acceleration from a different point of view when you hit something solid at great speeds. For measures to protect oneself against those forces, you need only look at jet pilots, who regularly undergo those forces when making tight turns in a plane that goes at the speed of sound. One thing they do is position their body so that the acceleration comes from the direction the body can best handle. If you're accelerated upwards, blood leaves your brain and you pass out. The best direction is forwards, pressing you into your seat. So in combat, you might want to take care to turn to face away from whatever is going to hit you, though that is problematic because one might want to spend that time moving to dodge the impact instead. There aren't that many other options, the body is just not designed to take such pounding. The most exotic idea in circulation is liquid breathing. You see, the body is mostly water, which is really hard to compress. When you are going splat, it is the empty pockets in your body, mostly your lungs, which collapse and give way to any organ not supposed to be located there. Goodbye ribcage. But if you were to fill your lungs with some liquid that can carry oxygen as well as air can, then it cannot compress that easily any longer, meaning that you would be able to withstand greater acceleration. That's why this idea is being researched for jet pilots, if you can make tighter maneuvers without risking your life, you have a strategic advantage. There are similar concerns for astronauts. So far only rats have breathed liquid and lived, it is theoretical, and scary. But it is not impossible, and a near-future supersoldier might want to use it if they think they are going to face giants.